the dental program. This can be accessed through the program index page. Once you're at the dental program, there are two or three main options. First in the top left hand corner is a breakdown of each individual tooth. On the right hand side, we have the TMJ disturbance. On the bottom right hand side, we can do a test potential on either the dental materials or the dental disorders. Let's have a look at this feature first. First, if we click on the dental materials, you will notice this database in the white reflects all of the items relative to dental materials. If we click on dental disorders, this database here will change. If you wanted to do a test potential on either one of these items, you would need to click on the red radio button and then do a test potential. So let's say you wanted to do a test potential on the dental disorders. You would select dental disorders and then do a test potential. A reactivity test will then be performed, scanning through all of the dental disorders. The highest numbers will then be categorized according to the color coding as per normal. Once that is complete, you can then do a one minute auto feedback by checking on the auto feedback button. Alternatively, you may wish to do Metaspace or Harness Type Therapy. If you choose the Metaspace or Harness Type Therapy, you can do any desired length of time. In the top right hand corner, you have the TMJ disturbance. There is not a test potential feature here. However, you can highlight any one of these items and do a three minute auto TMJ feedback. Alternatively, you can highlight one of these items and then you can go down and you can set your timer again. Again, in setting the timer, you can choose any desired length. In the bottom left hand corner, you will see there are four main occurring biospecific stresses related to the dentals, namely gum disease, oral abscess, repair nerve, and thrush. This is like a little shortcut. On the right hand side, you have add emphasis features. This add emphasis features can be used both with your TMJ, your dental materials, or your disorders. In other words, you can select, let's say for example, dental materials. You can select a dental material, and then when you do a feedback, you can do an add emphasis of any one of these items, inflammation, infection, degeneration, or pain. The same is applicable to the top left-hand corner. Once you have completed your test potential, if you wish to apply feedback on any one of these items, you can do that by highlighting the item and again choosing the inflammation, infection, degeneration or pain as an add emphasis. Now the add emphasis essentially means that additional frequencies will be piggybacked on top of the main presenting feedback which is occurring. So in summary, the add emphasis features of inflammation, infection, degeneration and pain can be used in analysis of, your, of the individual teeth in the top left hand corner, your TMJ, as well as your dental materials and your dental disorders. Thank you.